guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this flower hair bow. Many viewers sent in pictures of this look, so I tried my best to recreate it. Hope you guys like it. To create this cute flower bow, you want to pick up some hair near the front of your face. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair aside. Then you want to grab an elastic band that's the same color as your hair or something close to it. And you want to wrap the elastic band around your hair twice. So that's one and two. Then you want to pull on the ponytail and make sure the elastic band is at the base. So now we're going to create the petals and all you have to do is put a loop of hair through the elastic band like so. And then you're going to twist it a couple of times. So now that that loop is secured, you want to put your fingers through the elastic band and pick up your hair again to loop it through to create the second petal. Twist the elastic band a couple of times to secure the second petal. And once again, stick your finger through the hole and grab some more hair to create the third loop. So now you should have something that looks like this. And finally, twist it a couple more times and pick up the very last chunk and this will give you four petals in your little flower hair bow. Okay, so the flowers in the original picture that was sent to me look so perfect and I couldn't get mine to be perfect like that because it was so wobbly. To fix this, I just grabbed a bobby pin and I pinned the base down and voila, problem solved. The fun part about this hairstyle is that you can create these flower bowls anywhere on your head. You can even make it go all around your head like a crown. In the original picture, the person actually had it going down diagonally. But since I like side do's, I'm just going to create one more below the first one. Oh, for those of you who want waves without using hot tools, then definitely do this all over your head because at the end of the day when I unraveled it, I had these cute kinks and waves in my hair. So I thought that was pretty neat. To finish off this look, I used my Mika Clipless Curling Iron to create loose waves at the bottom. Of course you can leave your hair straight for this, but I think curls make it look more fun and playful. When you're done, you should end up with something that looks like this. Well, either this or a giant knot. <laughs> Let me know if you guys would ever give this hairstyle a try and thanks so much for watching. Bye! Subscribe to be notified of new videos and don't forget to check out my other hair tutorials.